my journey has been tough, but that's all good. We're here now. I have to grab it with two hands and run with it and keep proving people wrong. I want to show the world that this is how we roll. When I'm in the cage, every time is a pleasure. I'm calm, I'm not stressed, I'm confident. This is my advantage. I'm looking for the finish and I want to be a great fighter for the fans, for everybody. I'm really happy. This fight is going to be in Paris, the first event in Paris in France. So this is really important for me. This is a big challenge. I want to do very well for the fans in Paris, for the first show. In a few years, 20 years, 30 years, the people are going to say, yeah, the first event in Paris, I remember it was gain against Trevaz. <laughs> this is a present of my wife, my first time on the main event. I remember with my coach, he told me, you're gonna have your face on the poster. It's gonna be crazy. I say, wow, crazy, crazy, yeah. I'm really happy to have this. I put my belt in the back room because I'm not a materialist. This doesn't mean something for me, but not too much, you see? It's more memories. It's really more memories. I moved to Paris 14 years ago. I'm a real Parisian right now. I think I'm, I'm, I'm happier. I was born in La roche a little city uh, in the countryside. Already when I was young, I knew already I was an athlete. Every competition I had, I was really good. Every time, the first guy. <laughs> and I think all of this sport helped me to be a great fighter. I moved to Paris because in the countryside you don't have the same opportunity, but it was not easy because I was a student, but at the same time I worked. All the time I was tired, but this has helped me to grow up. This has helped me to be a man. And I started the Muay Thai because I want to make some money with that. And we did very well. We did three years in the Muay Thai before the MMA. So when I started the MMA, I was already ready to do this like a professional. Changement de niveau et puis on monte à la tête avec le pied. Changement de niveau, on joue. Straight away, I knew that he would be a champion. He barely boxed and uh, he didn't even know what was the MMA, but he was talented. La bombe, feinte d'amener au sol, je passe le bras arrière. And I said, in one year, we'll be in the UFC, and in two years, you might be a champion. Va taper dans ton cardio un peu plus, Cyril. Ne reste pas confortable. Tape dans ton cardio. Fais-toi mal au cardio. I did my first fight six months after my, my first training. One year after, I did my first fight in the UFC. So it was really quick. My plan was to win every fight, and we did it, and we did it very well. French heavyweight Cyril Gaon is ready to make his mark. Look for head and arm choke. Oh, and there's a tap. Welcome to the UFC, Cyril Gaon. Oh! Oh, that's going to be it. No way. Hammer fist from Cyril Gaon. It's incredible. I don't know where the limit is for this guy. Ooh. This guy is what you want in a young heavyweight contender. Well, there is no doubt who is leading the mixed martial arts movement in France at present. Because we won all of these fights, the UFC after that proposed me the interim title against Derek Lewis in Houston. And the interim heavyweight championship is on the line here in Derek Lewis's backyard. Such a big fight in a big spot against a tough Derek Lewis. 
I was a little bit worried. I didn't know how it would handle the pressure. 16,000 people booing you is scary. But uh, it goes like we planned. I was really great on my feet. I was really focused, and we did very well. Zidal Ghan on the cusp of a world Butter. title. Huge shots from Ghan. Total domination on the road tonight. It was a really great fight. We did exactly what we wanted to do. Touch it and never be touched. And I finished the guy. France has a UFC champion, Zidal Ghan. I put the belt on the, on the shoulder of my coach, Fernando Lopez. Because for me, we are a team. It was not only me, it was also my coach. I was struggling a lot to do not cry that in front of everyone on TV, but I was, I was fucked. Kogan, give me combos. If you don't give combos, he will keep picking you apart. Give combos and walk him down. Pour le langage corporel, voilà. Bah voilà, vide le, le réservoir. Ça commence à faire mal. Vide, vide. My next fight is going to be against Tai Chubazam. Bam, bam. This is a monster. He has a big punch, a big power knockout. He's very dangerous on his striking. We are really focused on that. It's kind of scary to me as a coach because uh, the guy is not only a boxer, he can kick very hard. And uh, he's a brawler. He don't care. He don't give a damn. He just go there, do his thing, and then drink a beer in his shoes. When you are home and a guy coming from Australia coming to beat you home, you don't want that to happen. That's a lot of pressure. But still, we are at home in our backyard, and we need to send a big step, man. For this fight, I'm going to take a little bit more risk for the fans. I want to beat this guy. I want to prove I'm a great competitor. I wake up, do 40 minutes on the bike, and then chill out. Nickname is Bam Bam. It's from the Flintstones, the, the little kid. The paper in Australia kind of gave it to me because I was um, 17, 18, knocking out all the uh, professionals on the MMA scene. I'm definitely not from a life of luxury. I've worked hard. When you work hard, you can enjoy some better things in life. There is a method to this. Very hot. But I still gotta go and get my head punched to, to earn some money, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. As especially for me, I can't forget where I'm from. The Western Sydney is home and I think it's gonna be home forever. Why I like it here for training camp is the rules are a bit stricter. There's lots to love about Dubai. It's beautiful, for one. I like to work when I'm not comfortable. When you're comfortable, you kind of get lazy. My last few camps has been great, so keep on at it, UAE. Here we are. Normal, bending down, touching the ground. So my mother's Aboriginal and my father's Samoan. Two different cultures. So I was different, that's for sure. I never graduated. I kind of got kicked out of every school I went to. Three, two, one, let's go hard. I kind of grew up quickly because I experienced different things in life. Things that kids shouldn't have experienced. 
crime, drugs, alcohol. Go out with my friends and run a mark. I know how easy it is to fall down that trap and not come back. Kinda learn not to take no shit. I might be different, but I'm not one to play with, so. Time! This is my job. If I don't knock us out, I don't get to feed my son. Also thinking about taking someone's head off. We were sitting around with my friends and the UFC had come on the TV. Three, two, one. My friend said, I reckon, Ty, you would bash the shit out of a couple of these fellas. And I said, yeah, I reckon I could too. I was still young and dumb, still playing around with the streets till my friends got sentenced to jail. And as it goes, I think if I kept doing the same thing, I was probably next. The next day, I went to the gym. I thought, uh, we might as well go have a crack and see how it goes. Ty, bam, bam, Sui Vassa. Good shot to Ivasa all over him. Oh, are you kidding me? Big shots landed for two Ivasa. Huge knockout of the skyscraper. Oh, Bam Bam wins again. Oh, the legs. Hardy goes down. Tied to Ivasa. Has knocked out Greg Hardy. Get him a shoe. Get him a beer. To Ivasa is going to light up this arena. I'm a banger from Western Sydney. That's my fight style. One more round. Bring it in. One more. I know I'm a good fighter. I know I can beat the best that there is out there, but you need to have the attitude and you need to have the work ethic to back it up. You just can't fucking fluke it. 100%, get in. Good. Turn it. I'm a massive underdog. Gain is explosive, fast. Five, six, seven, Just eight, an all round great athlete. Ten, good. My biggest advantage would be my heart. Into the trenches again to fight a hometown boy, and uh, if I have to make it dirty, well then. We're gonna get dirty. What do you reckon? Same, same. What? On démarre ici sur. Le changement de niveau, travail, up, 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 je descends, j'ai vers eux, je tire, je descends, j'ai vers eux. La vitesse d'accélération entre ça là et ça et ça. C'est ce que je veux voir. Fernand Lopez helped me a lot in, on my career. He did very well. He's my coach, my manager, He's also my friend, my big brother, a little bit my father sometimes. Et encore, tu es gentil, tu laisses bien sa tête ici au lieu de pousser comme ça. Regarde. When I want to ask something about life, I ask him. With that disconnection, I think you don't have a bon game in MMA for sure. Before him, I didn't know nothing. So that's why I can just say thank you to this guy, really. But no, voilà, c'est bien. C'est ce que je veux. Je veux comme ça qu'on fasse plein d'erreurs et qu'on les rectifie. I think that what motivates Siri is love. He wants to win because he loves his family. He loves his gym. I know that he loves me, and he knows that I love him. And I, you know that one of the things that I've 
what can make me happy is him to keep winning the fight. He felt how sad we were last time when he didn't win the fight. Here is the present UFC interim heavyweight champion, Cyril Gaon. He awaits a man with whom he is all too familiar, the predator, Francis Ngannou. This fight against Francis Ngannou it was a special situation because Francis is my former uh, teammate. He was born in his career in the MMA factory with Fernando Lopez, like me. I knew what was coming. I knew how hard and how tough was Francis because uh, Francis Ngannou was born in this gym. My goodness! Huge slam by Francis Ngannou. That's enormous. We did a great fight. I did very well uh, on the first and second round. Unfortunately, he was better than me. I want a good! He had just one or two opportunities to bring me down, and he did it very well. I tried to prepare Cyril the most that I could, and I failed. I'm not glad of the loss, but I think that that loss was necessary to make him become something different. This was affecting me a little bit. I feel the pain, like, shit, I don't like that. Today, I'm really focused to be a better version of myself. Today, I remember the mistake I did. It's gonna be impossible to do that tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna come in back better. I want my revenge. Dès qu'il y a le 2, tu vises. Dès que tu exagères, tu, tu tournes trop. Reviens sur la ligne droite, continue sur la ligne droite. Hé, hey, beaucoup mieux. Hé. Hey. I really think that this fight will be one of the most exciting fights that we ever had in the UFC. Because of the matchup, because of the fact that we have one guy who is very aggressive. And you have a fighter that is back on the corner. You don't have a choice. The series now is different. I know that you understand this guy is coming to kill you and you are in your backyard. And you are like, okay, you know what? I'm made for this. I need to be a champion. I want to be a champ. I need to finish this fight. I want a victory for this fight, yes, for my career. This has been something really important for me here, yeah, to go back in the game. I want to be the best, and to be the best, you must beat the best. I'm here, and I'm in the good place, and in the good situation, and I'm gonna finish my career in the sport like a champion. My daddy. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me. My daddy. My son is five years old. He's full of energy. He's a smart ass. I think that kind of runs in the blood. He loves wrestling. Yeah, the Undertaker. <laughs> Becoming a father is probably the reason why I'm here. He's a lot like me, he's not, he's not shy, that's for sure. I had a call from my son's mother and she said that I'm pregnant and I was kind of um, running amok at the time. Wow, good boy. The nine months before my son was born, I signed to the UFC simply just because I didn't want to be a shit dad. Hey, am I stronger than Brock Lesnar and John Cena or not? What? Are you serious? He's stronger out of your dad in The Rock. The Rock. He doesn't think he's that strong at all. I've never really been like a, a belt chaser kind of guy. But um, a few weeks ago, my son told me that I wasn't really a good fighter because I don't have a belt. Now, I can't stop thinking about the belt. <laughs> I know if I work hard, it's going to give him a head start at life. Westside, baby. Westside, Westside, Westside. 
Okay, one more. Give me a kiss. Mm. If I have to get punched in the head, then I'm sweet with it. Come on, Ty, stay there. Good power. Oh, Ty. That's it. Good. There you go. That's power. That's power. I think having a good team around you at all times is, is the main thing. People to pull you in line and people to bring you back down to earth. Let's go, let's go. Stay there, stay there. I knew, like, for a long time, Ty has the potential to, you know, mix it with the very best guys in the division. Last round, Ty. Oh. So I've known Ty since about 10, 11 years old. Five rounds, last session of a big week. Even from a younger age, everyone knew he was something, you know, quite special. Okay, push yourself now. This is it. At one point, you know, he was like a big brother. <laughs> now we're here at, at a point where we're both adults, we're both fathers. Good, inside, come on. Good, three, come on. Ty's on a five fight win streak now. And now he's put himself in a position to fight Cyril Garn. Finishing time, work! Don't stop time, put it on him! Seven, six. And I believe that's pretty much to be the clear number one contender for the next title fight. When I beat Cyril, I get a shot at the title. Get this belt that my son is in love with. Show my son that his daddy goes all right. I'm gonna work hard to finish my opponent. I'm really focused on my mission to be stronger, to go to the top, to be the best guy on the planet, and to be champion. I'm gonna have the best. That's it. Known for knocking people out. That's what I'm thinking about, that's what I visualize, and nine times out of ten, that's what happens. I'm from Western Sydney, we are the underdogs. Now we're here. We stroll on in and we do what we do and we take the bag home. Just another day in the office.